Mistakes happen, but reacting with anger and drama doesn't fix anything. Taking responsibility and dealing with the fallout like grown-ups is the way to go. Sadly, not everyone grasped that concept. Here are five cases when psycho girls realize they've been caught. Number 5. Entitled Shoplifters Caught in the Act In a Target store, officers arrive at the scene, dispatched due to a report of shoplifting in progress. The suspects are two young women who find themselves under the watchful eyes of law enforcement. The officer's approach is straightforward, their questions pointed, aiming to uncover the reality of the situation. As the officers probe further, pointing out a specific bag as the subject of interest. Hey, which bag was it? It's the bag right there. Yeah, the beige one. Right, is there anything in that bag? We should know some merchandise in that bag. The tension escalates. This is your bag right there. No. It's not whose bag is it? Okay. We're not playing this game. The bag, seemingly innocuous, becomes the center of a swirling storm of questions and denials. Wait, that, I, I, mean, put, I, I, I said put your hands behind your put handcuffs on her. And just like that, the plot thickens. Let go of the phone. Let go of the phone. Okay. They look absolutely dumbfounded. They don't want to tell us. No, of course, because they heated the moment. You said it. You, you said it already. Like, what did... They heated the moment, but... There's only a couple items who pay for everything. Their actions hesitant and uneasy. Come back here. The trespassing. Well, that's definitely going to happen, and then he's going to go see what's not paid for, and then go for it. just the stuff in the bag. It's just the stuff in the bag. They're caught red-handed, yet they're still trying to pull a fast one on the officers. It's our bag. It's our bag. It's our bag. We honestly just found it. Found the bag? With no identification to present. Do you have an ID in there? Um, I think mine is in there. Where's your ID? I don't have one on You don't have an ID in there? Okay. A pat down ensues. This Sergeant Dunn, she's gonna pat you guys down. You guys have anything yeah. like a poker yeah. card or anything like that? Anything no. we should know about? No. Do you have any products on hey, you? The women, now subjects of a thorough investigation. I still have the pat down then. Find themselves confronting the consequences of their actions. Forgot me. Okay. Turn. Oh my bad. Do you have anything on you that I need to know about? No. The discovery of the total cost of the stolen items sends a ripple of surprise through the air. How much is that? Hundred and twenty six dollars. Hundred dollars? Hundred and twenty six dollars. What is oh. there? What, what, what was it? Oh my bad. The suspect expresses her disbelief. Right. It was only a toy. It was only a Target's expensive. That's that's why it's right, hundred twenty six dollars. Can you see the receipt? All right, come on. We're gonna go in the car. You can see. The struggle carries on as they head towards the patrol car. All right. Oh, patrol. Look at the camera. Are you? You're not taking a picture of me. Yes, you can. No, the f you ain't. For what? Hey, bro, don't grab me. Man, no, you don't want to get all this. A disagreement flares up over taking a photo, igniting a heated exchange between the suspect and the officer. Charge. But you don't have to let him take a picture of me. I'm asking you to step out. No, that's what yes. the mugshot is for. Step out. I'm not. Step out. You, you want another charge? Let him take a picture out, of me so. without you my permission. You want another charge? Out, You're not gonna let It's kind of funny how she's suddenly all about privacy when they were just fine with taking things without asking. You're gonna get, You're gonna get without another charge. Without my permission. Can you step I'm over here, ma'am? What is he taking a picture of me for talking? I'll tell you what. Come over here. A felony for what? I don't want him to take a picture of me. That's not. And the tug of war goes on. For him to take a picture of me, ma'am. It is. It is. Step out the vehicle. You're just going to make things worse for you. I don't want a picture Stay, taken. Stake out the vehicle. I don't want a picture taken. Just take her right. In the end, the officers have no choice but to assert their authority and make her cooperate. I got it. Appreciate you. Have a seat. No. 
Amidst the discussion about the stolen goods and their value, I think it's going to be 120, but all those calls were 10 dollars. It's just crazy. It's like she said, Target's freaking expensive. That's why I always shot the clearance section. Uh, I don't get that far. She's still making trouble inside the patrol car. Step out. Why are you yelling? Like I'm, I'm, yelling. I'm telling you, it's okay. tight as hell. Get, so how do you want me to fix them? them? How am I going to push up if they're already tight? You guys tightened me up when I was standing right there. Look at that entitled behavior. You should have just did that. I slung the leg over the first time. I'm going to take the handcuffs off. Yeah, gonna, I don't care. You're going to take the jacket off. That's fine. Okay. You take it off. You can do it. Meanwhile, the officers handle the situation with professionalism. After both women are transported to jail, the cops receive the receipt of the pilfered goods and verify the total value of the stolen items. You could have come down on a worse time, huh? Yeah. I got the, uh... It must be almost 5 o'clock. The other receipt right here. Okay. This is the receipt for... Yes. Uh, it's added with the jacket on there now. Including the jacket that was nabbed as well. Oh, the jacket was on here before? Yeah. So now it's a hundred and more. Oh, the jacket's here now, was yeah. it? Yeah. Oh. In the end, both women are slapped with petty theft charges. Number four, teen's wig falls off as she resists arrest. In a sunlit street that looks just like any other, a car comes to a sudden halt. An officer approaches. Hey, stop the car. Stop. What? What? You stay here? No. What are you doing here? No. Why does it matter? Turn the car off. Turn the, car the officer's insistence on turning the car off hints at something more than a routine check. Turn the car off now. Turn the car off. Turn the car off now. Turn the car off. Hey, what did you do about punch on your Don't ever forget that I'll punch you The situation quickly escalates. Hey, let me explain. No, let me explain to you what we're doing. Put your hands on me and I don't say I'm responding to an alarm call. Put your hands on me and I The street, once calm, becomes the stage for a confrontation that nobody anticipated. Watch your Oh, my mama. Nobody's under arrest. Me. Turn the turn around, ma'am. Turn around. Stop you're not under me. you're not under I don't arrest. Care. You came in this Despite the officer's calm approach, the woman responds aggressively, clearly caught off guard. Put your hands on me. I'll spit on you. Stop you're not you're not under arrest. Stop. Stop. Her attempt to flee only makes matters worse. Now. Get down now. Turn around Stop. and put your hands behind oh. your back. Oh, and did you see that? Did her hair just fall off? Get down now! Turn around Whoa! and put your hands behind your back. The woman continues to be defiant. Her protest filling the air. No, relax. In contrast. The cop stays cool and collected. Chill out. Hey, hey. All right. Stop talking to me and fix the cuff. Fix the cuff. Did you just rip my wig? I hope your kids die. The you just took. In a last ditch effort, she threatens retaliation. What are you doing? Stop touching me. Stop pulling Stop away. Stop touching me. My wrist hurts. Turn around. I'm gonna pull away. What the fuck? Why are you doing too much, bro? You struggling to assert some form of control in a situation where she feels powerless. A female officer steps in to adjust her handcuffs. But her resistance makes it a challenging task. Despite the officer's efforts to calm things down, the woman's defiance grows stronger. It seems cooperation isn't in her playbook. Hey, 
Get her quick, and I'm gonna search her real quick and get her out of my car. Will she persist in resisting as they try to secure her in the patrol car? Let's see. Oh, my mama. Is that oh, my wrist still hurts. Which wrist? Right there. What the are you talking about? Is okay. it left or right? <laughs> Well, we all saw that coming, didn't we? Now, don't push me because I can get in my get, Okay, then get in. My wrist right. hurt, though. Get my in. My wrist hurt. Okay, get wrist, in. Wrist is hurting. I'm if you calm you. down, we'll help you out, okay? Don't push me, bro. I'm not going to tell put you. Put your feet in the, in the car, please. As the altercation comes to an end. But she cannot be in my face. Okay. Neither one of them. Get out of my face. Okay. The f wrong with you? Fix my wrist. Okay, give me a couple minutes. The f my soul. The woman is escorted away, her protest lingering in the air. In the end, the teen learns the hard way, facing charges of imprisonment for battery on a law enforcement officer. Do you think she managed to get her wig back? And if she did, was she allowed to wear it in jail? Number 3. 19-year-old covers up for her boyfriend At a resort, a 19-year-old woman from Minnesota faces a dilemma. On Valentine's Day, instead of love, there's tension and confusion as she argues with her intoxicated 33-year-old boyfriend. The cops intervene, working to understand the situation. He doesn't even know what's going on. So, my name is I'm all the way from Minnesota. Just, just leave it alone. He doesn't Amidst the woman's emotional recount. What's going on? That's what drunk he is. And that's why he's so me. That's so mad at me because I cut him off from the car. And he's sharing her side of the story. To him and he starts talking. All this <laughs> we were hanging out with these dudes at the bar all night and all of a sudden he just she narrates the events that unfolded I go and follow him and he's like you know what sorry i don't mean to swear at you but that's what he was saying to me swearing i don't care about yes yeah, screaming at me i'm Please sorry I'm just the woman claims her boyfriend got physical with her this has never happened to me my head hurts my hands hurt everything why does your hands hurt because a claim that seems supported by the distressed look on her face and some physical marks. Do not mess with that. If you're gonna hit me, I'm gonna hit you. What do you mean? And hit my mouth. That's why my lip. The boyfriend is interviewed as well. No, no, no. She's so crazy. She went crazy, is what you said? Yeah, she's drunk. Yeah. Okay. You seem like you're a little intoxicated too. Yeah, that's no, all right. No, no, no. And then the conversation shifts back to the woman's narrative. Where did he hit you? Right here? I, I, I don't know. Like we were, we were over but by. It was our, here at the hotel. Yes, it was over by our rental vehicle. I don't even. She's conflicted about the whole situation. He actually boom hit me. All I know is I felt something hit my lip, uh -huh. and that's why. Worried more about her boyfriend's business and reputation than taking any legal action against him. I do not want to press charges, anything. I just want to figure out what the f is going on with him. Because I have How much alcohol do you think he's had? The woman comes clean about the alcohol her boyfriend has consumed. Oh my gosh, we went on a sunset cruise earlier. He probably had about 15 drinks. We got here, he probably had about six. 15 drinks? So he's had like 20. But it looks like he's not the only one who's intoxicated. Yes, and that's why he's so mad at me, because I cut him off. Uh -huh. He doesn't like that. I don't know what I did. I don't know what happened. I don't know anything. When asked about her age, this is a response. I will be honest with you, I'm only 19 years old. Okay. Really but I will tell you, How old is he? he is 33. I will tell you before you accuse me of fake ID. Hoping her honesty will help clear things up. That's all I'm gonna tell you. And I know I still am breaking the law, but I... Well, let's not worry about that. Okay, yes, I am. Shifting the focus to the woman's boyfriend. Do you know how you got this mark on the side of your face here? No, I don't. Okay. You have no recollection of that at all? No, I don't. Can I see your hands real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The officer assesses his injuries. I'm not so fucking honest. <laughs> I know, but on, on that side of your face, you get a little abrasion and scratch, and on the back over here, you got some redness on the back of your head. I'm trying to figure out what that's about. And then the attention returns to the woman. Yeah, I came out to him, passed out on the floor. I was trying to get him up. 
I was like, in the parking lot. Uh -huh. He was, okay, our car is like right here, so he was laying in the grass. However, her version of events keeps changing. Like I was pulling him, I was like, babe, get up, get up. Kind of like moving him with my foot, like uh -huh. nothing. As soon as he gets up, killed. Making it challenging for the officers to establish a clear timeline. I was like, I was like, David, what did I do? He's like, you know what you did. I did not do anything. I promise you, you were sitting at this bar out here. Despite this, she continues to describe the incident. Two dudes, he was talking to them all night. I was talking to them all night. All of a sudden, he just walks away mad. I promise you, I have no clue what I did wrong. I was trying to get him up out of the grass and get And how it culminated in a physical altercation. I'm going to get him to sleep. He just goes off, shoves me, and pushed me to the ground. I got up. Did anybody see this? I mean, I don't think anybody saw somebody. Meanwhile, another officer speaks with the resort staff. Anybody see anything about what's going on out there? Yeah, she came back with a swollen lip. She did? Yeah, and she, okay. she did say she hit him. She said she Who witnessed the altercation between the couple. Saw her, like, leaving, like, getting, leaving uh, mm -hmm. the lobby? She, well, she ran in and out of here three or four times. Okay, so her lip was at one point not swollen, and now it is. Mm -hmm. And then did you see anything about the guy? He attentively listens to the details provided by the witnesses. For some reason, when she came down here, mm -hmm. She was looking for him. He was not in the building and she was all yeah, the okay. 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 As the staff earnestly described the unfolding events. You know, like trying to get away okay. from her. Yep. And then after about less than five minutes, right, Jess? Mm -hmm. About less than five minutes, she went outside and then we started hearing screaming. We're not certain what exactly. The woman persists in explaining herself. He's just been standoffish, like. This and I'm just like, uh -huh. I do not want to press charges on him. I do not want him to go to jail. He owns a business. We're all the way from acknowledging that their perspectives might differ. Flight to get on on Friday, like, and I guarantee he's over there telling a whole different story. <laughs> well, that's usually what happens. Yes. Let me talk to him. Okay, and we'll go from there. While she never seems to run out of words, her boyfriend is the complete opposite. Friday, like, and I guarantee he's over there telling a whole different story. <laughs> well, that's usually what happens. Yes. Let me talk to him, okay, and we'll go from there. The officer relays the information that she was able to gather from the woman. I don't need it. Tell me why I Moments later, the woman's narrative shifts once more. I know when I hit him in the face. I can tell you that for free. If you want to arrest me or whatever, that's fine. I am the one that actually threw punches and hit him. I don't know how. Could her story get any more confusing? I cannot tell you. I know I got shoved. I know I got pushed to the ground. All I know is I threw first punch. I was repeatedly hitting it. The officer attempts to clarify the situation. Yeah. Can you be honest with me? Yes. Do you remember getting pushed or no? I can tell you, I don't remember a single thing. All I know is I went to try to wake him up. And then this happens. Do you favor? Yes. Can you stand up? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Why am I getting... Her admission of hitting back and the physical evidence lead to her arrest. I just really couldn't tell you what happened first. All I know is he wouldn't want me arrested and I don't want him arrested. Okay. And, and I appreciate I you and I appreciate your honesty. A turn of events she seems to have not fully anticipated. Can you just, I'm going to jail right now. Ask me. But why? Because he has scratches and he has... The woman, now in disbelief, I, I know you're going to be like, oh, you're switching your story because you don't want to go to jail. No, I was telling you that he did not aggress it because I didn't want him to. Portrays herself as the victim. He owns a business. He's successful. I'm not successful at all. And I was trying to look out for him. Seems like he's not looking out for me at all. Once again, altering her story. But I can tell you for free, he pushed me, maybe not to the ground, but he shoved me and that's what set me off, okay? I was just trying to protect him and now I feel very... She becomes emotional. Spend the night in jail for doing nothing, for literally getting hands put on me and putting hands on him back. I was 100% lying. Completely contradicting her previous account. To try to get him not in trouble because I care about his business, I care about his reputation. Clearly he doesn't give a about me, but since he wants to play him. But it's too late for that now, isn't it? And my parents warned me about that, but anyways.
Okay. I just want you guys to understand that I was telling you I don't remember what happened because I didn't want him to get in trouble. I didn't think I was Regret sets in as she grasps the gravity of her situation. Are you kidding me? I was lying to you. Well, the state of, in the state of Florida, if we determine a primary aggressor, we have to make an arrest. Why does he get treated? Like, why does he get Despite her protests, her fate is sealed. He gets treated good when he's the one that started he's everything. He's not being treated good. He's the one that put hands on me and everything. <laughs> and then she starts to act like a baby. <laughs> crying for her mom. And drowning in a sea of regrets. I was a piece of I should have listened to her. And now I'm here standing up for him. The waterworks just keep coming. I didn't do anything wrong. He's the one who should be here like he's been how many times. Her emotions are just all over the place at this point. I care about him and his son and his family. I don't have anything. <laughs> I was just trying to protect him and here I am. And she reflects on the advice she ignored about her boyfriend and finds herself in a mess she never expected. I never do anything wrong in my whole life. I'm 19 years old and I only had a minor one time. It's a tough lesson learned about making decisions in the moment and dealing with the consequences later. I don't end up in handcuffs. My mom's gonna f hate me. I didn't do anything wrong. You never The officer acknowledges her distress. I didn't do okay. anything. I hear you. Um, I didn't. Do you want to get the handcuffs off? I just want to go home to my Offering kindness amid her emotional breakdown. Okay, we gotta get through this first. I just wanna go home. I miss my body. However, the woman remains inconsolable. Yeah, do, do you wanna get the handcuffs off? I don't care about the handcuffs. Okay, well, we gotta go upstairs. I wanna go. Lamenting the poor choices she's made in life. The officer gently persuades her to step out, but her efforts are futile. Let's get out and let's get upstairs so we can get through this. <laughs> Come on. Go. Come on. I want to go. Meanwhile, other officers discuss the woman's charges. She's getting resisting too at this point. I'm not, this is just ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, I, I, this is. She was perfectly fine over there. No problem at all. Not you, but it's just, it's nuts. Yeah, I, I just kind of know. Clearly skeptical of the drama she's displaying. It's just ridiculous. Like she, this is a big act. It. It's a big act. But now, but now we gotta go take her and put her over there, and she's gonna do the same thing. And I mean, just look at her. She's only making matters worse for herself. Well, it seems like the woman's night took a turn for the worse, landing her in the hospital and facing a battery charge later on. What's your hunch about what truly happened? Let us know in the comments. Number 2. Wasted woman gets arrested for her behavior. A night out takes a turn when a woman decides she's going to drive herself home from a bar despite having had a bit too much to drink. The vibe in the parking lot shifts as people start to notice that something's off. It's not long before the cops show up, tipped off by concerned onlookers. The woman, with her car keys in hand, doesn't see what the big deal is. My f phone! Stop screaming, ma'am. Okay, well, time to stop with me! Leave me alone! I hear your dog! I know who the f you are! She's downright rude, dismissing the officers. Who am I then? Then you f I've dealt with you and your f 
partner, will you so stop with? screaming? Right okay, now. then tell him to leave me the f alone. I will talk to him in just a minute, but you God. She's convinced she's fine, but the officers have seen this play out badly too many times. Okay, you can hold Where's the door open. That's fine. Where's your ID at? Right here. Because this is about to go where you're going to end up going to jail. No, now. because I don't want to go to jail. Because you're being disorderly. I'm not because he's literally. Though they try to calmly reason with her, she responds with aggression disregarding their attempts to defuse the situation. You literally have seen you. Am I screaming at you? No, you're not. And okay, I'm sorry, but not. you have f literally have seen me. And you're like, you have dealt with this. They're listening to you scream. I understand that. In her mind, the officers are overstepping. Doing anything being disorderly in a public place while you're intoxicated. Well, I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm not trying to be disorderly conduct out of well, all that you And she's just trying to wrap up her night. Myself. You're not going to drive. So who's going to drive me? Who's I don't know. You need that? to get an Uber or something like that. I have my keys to this shit. Do what? I have my keys. She even gives this bizarre suggestion, downplaying her situation. Okay. Do you want to follow me home? No, I can smell the alcohol coming Why off. Why don't you follow me home? We've already dealt with each other before. Just follow me home. And it's not like that. It's not. The officers, however, aren't swayed. Okay. Well, you're under the influence and we're not going to follow you home. You need to find a ride. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's becoming more and more apparent that she's drunk. Oh my god! Last time you literally told me I'm about your child. I'm sit right there and lunch. No, down. I'm getting out of the Come car. Here. You told me to get. Because who in their right mind wouldn't stop rambling about irrelevant things? Right here. Officer, I want to listen to you. It's a good idea. One thousand percent. I'm going to listen to you. Get your dog out so he can stop barking at me. Yeah, you don't want to barking. You came to my... Seriously, could she be any tipsier than this? This is hilarious. This is hilarious. No, I'm going to get my phone. I'm trying to get my phone. You just about fell into me. No, I didn't. I'm going to get my... Things escalate when she makes a move for her car. Okay. Are you going to hey, shoot hey, me no. hey, when I get thing. my... Put your, hand your back. put your hand behind your behind back. Behind my back for what? Put, you're under arrest for disorderly conduct. Before, persistent. Well, Turn around. Contact me. Leading the officers to decide that enough is enough. Because I told you to you shut up a hundred times. I, I was fine. Now, how do you want to do this? Do you want to go to jail time. or do you want to get the ticket? For her safety and the safety of others, they decide she can't be left to her own devices. Literally f tried to yep. arrest me. You try You're to arrest, under arrest me. Right now. Arrest me then. Arrest you are me. Under arrest. arrest me. Please arrest me. Stand by with one. But she's not taking it well. Getting more worked up by the second. Call my hey, call my girl. One three. One three. Yes. One three. Close my door right now. Close my door right now. With that attitude, the walk to the patrol car feels like a marathon. Don't touch the car. Close my door. Don't touch it. Have a seat in there. Have a seat. Have a seat. No, not until I know. No, no. Right now you're under arrest. Getting her inside is a whole other struggle. Charge before you get arrest. additional charges. Hey, Jim! Get in the car. Get more f***ing on three! Get in the car. on three! If you get in the car, you can tell him. I've got her. over there. And the battle continues. Watch well, we'll talk in. to you in a second. Just hang out up there. F***ing on three! Put Watch your feet in. Watch your knees. No, not until I know when I can in. get... Not until I know when I can get my shit done. Put your feet in. I don't care. Outside, a friend of hers shows up. If I take her to my house and I got her keys, no, well, I wouldn't get she'll be right back over here. No, I'll make sure she stays at my house. Attempting to calm the situation. She can either some, accept somebody in her house or she goes to jail. I'm sorry, I'll make sure she goes to my house and not leave. And spare her from more trouble. I do have her keys. Unlock it so we can get her purse for her. That's a good idea you had to save her from getting a DUI because well, she didn't I wouldn't give him to her. Well, that's good. But at this point, it's too late. You can release her to me and she can get a mile. We are not releasing her to you to take over there and walk back over here and have the same problem again. Oh, we're not going to. Hey, I've been here for And the officers decide it's time to take her in. Well, I'm pretty well known in this place and she knows me No. The whole scene is a chaotic mess, with the woman upset. You're not getting out until we're done. Breathe. Okay, we'll shut up and we'll roll the window okay, down. Okay, well then let me roll the windows down. I can't 
breathe, Holy bro! Yes, yes, that's it, man. Her friend trying to help. We're go they're gonna let I you go. Can't. Get me out, dude! They, I'm gonna freak you, out. If you don't you're calm down, they're gonna, gonna you take you to jail. jail. I don't care. Yeah. And the officers just trying to keep the peace. Here's what's getting ready to happen. You listening to me? Get me out! That's not the way it's going to happen. I'm not asking that, but please, dude, for the love of God. You're going to sit there and he's going to write shit. you a criminal sign. It's one of those situations that nobody wants to be in. Please, get me the f out. I don't care. Just get me out of these f handcuffs. I don't care what the f he's doing to me. Get me out of these handcuffs. I can't deal with this. Well, that's. But once it's in motion, it's hard to stop. I just want to go home. We got him, babe. Please you just got to no, breathe. I just want to go home. Break my okay, destiny. Let's be real here. If she can't breathe, then how is she able to scream at the top of her lungs? Get from me now! I just want to ask Get away from me! Okay, get okay. away from me now! Get away! You guys, go up in front of the car, not right here working. No. People are just done with her at this point. I'm not stopping! Take me to my house! She's just wearing herself out for no good reason. Take me to my house now! He wants to bring his stupid girlfriend with him? The officer takes a moment to analyze the situation. If we summons her and release her for PDC, she's gonna fight with somebody here in the parking lot, or and then the guy that wants us released to her lives across the street from the bar, which she'll be right back here. And explain why releasing her isn't a good idea. Out of control raging right now, and screaming and screaming and screaming. I mean, she's she's really resisted arrest. She's lucky that the keys were not in the car. Somebody else. The woman's friend makes another attempt to step in. Let me yell at her. One that ain't doing a, no, 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 no. We're done. None. We're done. All right, Go that way. All right, Go that way. Whatever. I got her calmed down. I don't need somebody else trying to give her advice. But the officers have reached their limit. It was me. Yeah, that's done. Work so good for now, hasn't it? Yeah. No, you not really. Let me talk to her. Did you try to talk to her before she left? As the dust settles, the woman is faced with a court summons for disorderly conduct. She pleaded guilty and was fined $100. Number 1. Daddy's girl throws a fit when things don't go her way. On a seemingly ordinary day, the calm is disrupted by police sirens heading towards a house over a family argument. The center of this commotion is a young woman caught in a disagreement that's far from typical. Upon arrival, the police are briefed by the father of about the unfolding events. It appears the disagreement turned violent, prompting the father to seek police assistance. Talk to her, and then I'll talk to you. The mother's account sheds light on the day's events. My daughter decided she was going to throw herself a tantrum because I threatened to take off without her. While she was visiting over there, I was sweating out here, putting the groceries away, and her painting a picture of a tantrum thrown by her daughter. I got back to the vehicle. Her and your sister? Yes. Where's your sister? At? She left. Okay. She wasn't going to stick so around. She was threatening to leave. Oh, my sister can tell you everything. I got her number. Okay, no, call her. but you're. But it's a tale of tempers flaring under the summer sun. She got into the truck. She, because uh -huh. <laughs> I was threatening her. She got into the driver's seat. Yeah. She, she took off running and she jumped. She pushed me, jumped in, and she goes, "I'll call Mitch." That. The daughter, feeling cornered and threatened, makes a dramatic move to take control. Where were you hit at? She hit me here. She hit me here, With and she hit me on the cheek. Where she threw. She threw the bag of sugar in front of her dad. He talked me, basically told me, to get into the... An act that only escalates the conflict. ...back seat so she can get in so we can leave. That's what she goes, you're take you to your fucking ride. You're really going to have her in the car with me? You choose. You choose. You have three seconds to choose between me and her dad. Who's it going to be? Her? Her? As accusations fly, the daughter defends herself against claims of violence. Okay. What was going on? My mom... I don't know, did what she did and threatened me. She threatened you? How did she threaten you? She pretty much... She denies any further aggression, placing the blame squarely on her mother's shoulders. She was going to call you if I said or did anything wrong. Can you tell me the whole story, please? 
I mean, I can show you text. She just got mad because, first of all, she The daughter continues to justify her actions and asserts herself as the innocent one. She said that I threw things at her that I was violent, which I wasn't. So that's why I'm here hiding. Did you throw things at her? And it hurt her dog. She disputes her mother's sugar story. Did you guys start hitting each other? No. My dad stopped it. So I'm you not guys gonna were. lie, I was going to, but my dad said no. So I backed up. After hearing her spin a web of lies, the officer comes to a decision. Am I being arrested? Yes, you are, man. For what? For a battery in the house. Can you get stand up, please? Mm -hmm. I'm on my dad. You will talk to Despite her objections, the officer remains resolute in his judgment. Yeah. Can you sign up for me, please? Nope. Man, look. I want my dad right now. So, all of a sudden, you change. You're gonna arrest me for something I didn't do? Yeah. Confronting the woman with a brutal truth. You told me the story. I told you what? That you're throwing things at her. Like what? The groceries you guys had in a charger. You saw it. Can you send up my phone? Nope. I don't want to force. What follows is a struggle. That's good because I didn't do anything wrong, so. Both physical and emotional. Please, yes, please give me a hand and we'll walk and I'll talk to you. We'll talk to your dad, please. Let's go. That's not okay. You'll, you'll talk to your dad. You'll talk no, to your dad, no. Go ask him. No, come on. No. I'm As the young woman confronts the reality of her actions. Get me out. Hey, get, her. get me out. Johnny. Her pleas become more and more frantic. Daddy. Dad. No, let Let's me go. go. Dad! Do you want him to take your belongings or go with you? Dad! You're Disbelief and desperation coloring her every word. The young woman stubbornly rejects the consequences of her actions. Dad! Dad, let me go right now! You're such a f***ing disappointment, Johnny. You really want me to be in jail, really? Showing a lack of respect for her own father. Let me go! Johnny, you better let me go right now! Johnny, you better let me go right now! And attempting to manipulate him. Kid, let me go right now! Are you, are you Johnny? Yes. Okay, can you just... I want to go oh, I'll talk to you just a minute. Just yeah. give me a second. Johnny! Hey, Maxine. Are you really... Her frustration eventually reaches a breaking point. Maxine, we'll have a chance to talk. Shut the... Listen. Johnny! We'll have a chance to talk here in a second. Johnny! Well, we gotta get you in the car. Okay? If you want anything... Despite her fervent denials and impassioned appeals... Can let me go right now! Right. Johnny! Time, we're gonna put you in the car, okay? Johnny! I tried to talk Dad! to you. Dad! Stand up. Daddy! Stand up. The path forward is clear. The law is spoken. And she must face the repercussions of her actions. The journey from the scene of the dispute to the confines of the police vehicle is charged with emotion. Hey, you're gonna split you it up right here. Ask him. We'll let you talk to him once you calm down. No, ask him. No, we're not gonna play this game. Right now. Stop. Next year. Well, then don't play I, my I, game. I, listen. Do it. And resistance. I love you forever and ever. Friends. The parents want to stand up. Dad. Stand up again. Yeah. Daddy. 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 No, I want to talk to my father. Then I'll let go. Because of her refusal to cooperate. The officers have no choice but to enforce compliance. Dad! Johnny! Get out! Getting her seated inside the patrol car, well, that's a whole different story. I want to talk to my dad, that's it. Huh? Here, you hold her up. The young woman remains defiant as she's taken to the hospital. After being cleared by medical staff, she's then transported to jail. Is there any way, shape, or form I can get out of this other than my own recognizance tomorrow? Are you kidding me? Yes. Just let me go. Let me. The officer emphasizes the finality of their decision. I need to take him to the jail. 
I can just unarrest somebody and just let them go. Okay. If it's under wrongful circumstances, yes, you can. Mm -mm. But the woman's protests persist. Okay, I want out right now. Come on. Maxine, come on. No, you don't have my babe. You have nothing worth me dealing with this. Let's go. No. The officer explains the reason for her arrest. Oh, okay. And resisting an arrest. Oh, okay, the resisting, I guess I get. But battery, what come proof on. do you have? That I have enough probable cause. Even in jail, she maintains her act. Bullshit! My hand is literally both of them are swelling, so someone yeah, needs to lose them or take them off. Never. Now! The young woman finds herself on her own as her father doesn't come to her rescue, leading to charges of battery against a household member and resisting arrest. And with that, we wrap up our list of psycho girls caught in the act. These cases are definitely some solid proof that people turn out to be extremely problematic if they were never told no as a child. Which girl do you think exhibited the most concerning behavior? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Also, check out our other stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. See you next time.